You know, you know, you know what's the problem with us like new traders in this kind of industry? Um, it's it's many problems to be honest. It's many problems. I just want to mention one in this video. The problem with us is that we cannot take con constructive criticism, right? We cannot take it whatsoever. What that basically is is someone telling you your problem, but then the aim is not to devalue your work but then to actually help you you know to to add value to your work and i'm saying the problem was we think okay when someone that's in a similar journey with you he cannot correct you whatsoever you know i'm saying you'll be thinking oh since you're on the same journey why would you listen to him you get my point so let's let's make it let me make an example so let me just say there's this person i'm seeing he's making a mistake probably in the same strategy that you trade he's making a mistake and i'm seeing that mistake then i comment on a mistake i'm like bro you don't do it like this do it like this but with the intent of actually helping that person not actually like putting that person down but because i want to help that particular person but the receiving end that person might think oh we are both beginner traders why would i listen to you most of us have that kind of mindset guys to be honest and just to be real with you guys, that is not going to take us anywhere to toughen up our heads, you know what I'm saying? Just, just, okay, you could listen to that person, eh? You could listen to that person, but then if his or her, her, or his or her advice doesn't make any sense, just let it out the window. You don't have to comment and say, hey, you think you're better than me and stuff like that. For me, for example, um, guys, if there's one thing that I've learned is... You can actually learn from anybody even someone who isn't like in your like in the same categories like in the same categories you like in th i don't know how to put it like but like uh what i learned is what i actually learned guys is like you could actually learn from anybody even from a person who doesn't even trade probably does something else you could actually learn from that person and I'm saying, we should throw away this mindset of, okay, this person doesn't do what I do, so I'm not going to listen to this person. Or, this person is not where I am, so I'm not going to listen to this person. You know what I'm saying? So, for example, I could learn from a school teacher, even though the school teacher is not even a trader. I could listen to, I don't know, a bodyguard. You know I'm saying, as long as what he's saying makes sense and is actually part of my belief system, I actually take it in and be like, okay... This is true. I'm taking it in. I'm taking it in. I'm saying. But then if someone comes and says like something that doesn't really make sense. Maybe he could be saying it just for the sake of saying it. I'm going to listen to him to be honest. But then I'm not really going to take it into consideration. I'm just going to say okay bro I, I hear you. But then the information goes out the other ear. You know what I'm saying. So we need to fix that kind of situation. We need to fix that kind of problem, guys. Whereby we need to help each other, you know. Even starting a community. I don't think starting a community is really helpful. Because some people cannot take constructive criticism. That is that is the basics of things. That is like the bottom the bottom line of things. You know what I'm saying? Like people cannot take constructive criticism. Like when they're being criticized, like they think of it as something bad. I'm saying which which could be something bad in other examples you know what i'm saying maybe someone is jealous of you and he's telling you hey do this don't do that and i'm saying okay that's con that's criticism by itself i'm talking about constructive criticism i'm saying most of us cannot take constructive criticism and we cannot differentiate between the negative side of cr uh, criticism and constructive criticism you know what i'm talking about we just categorize them as one okay this is criticism ah, this is BS, I'm saying. So, the sooner you realize there's something called constructive criticism, where, for example, let me make an example. Let's say a soccer coach you know, is watching you, like he wants to scout you, right? But then you're not doing the right things. I'm saying, so he'd be like, okay, boy, you're messing it up, right? 
you are messing it up. You're not good enough. He's telling you that in front of your face. You're not good enough. I've been told that because I've, I've been playing soccer for like, since I was nine. I'm saying you're like, you're not good enough. You should do this, do that. And I put my pride aside. I put I, I put my ego aside. I was like, okay, I need to work on my speed. I, I need to work on my agility. I need to work on my stamina. I'm saying that con that criticism was actually a constructive criticism. You know, it actually pushed me further because not to brag, but then I, I became one of the best players in the team. Like two years later, you know I'm saying of hard work of pu really pushing myself. But that's besides the point. What I'm talking about is like he actually criticized me, but to actually, but his his intention was to actually help me, not to really put me down. You know what I'm saying not to really devalue my work. Stuff like that. Same thing with trading. You know what I'm saying, I'm seeing that you're doing something wrong, right? And I've also experienced it. I've done it that way, but then I realized that is not the correct way to do things. I'm saying, and I'm seeing you doing it. So me being a bad person, I'm just gonna leave you. But me being a good person, I'm gonna tell you, bro, don't do this. This doesn't work. Trust me. I'm saying, but I need to be sure of what I'm talking about. You know I'm saying I cannot say this doesn't work if I haven't tried it. But then in this case, I'm saying I have I have tried it, it doesn't work. But then I need to like tip you. I need to like convince you to not do this because it doesn't work. Like you have two options. You have two options. Taking it in and actually going to work on it. Or just be like, this person is crazy. I'm saying this person is crazy. And even though you know what I'm saying makes sense, some people can just regard what I said just because we're in like the same time frame in terms of journey like we just started off so i'm a beginner you're a beginner why should i listen to you kind of mindset you get to me so like yeah man honestly guys there's a lot of problems that we need to deal with as us traders you know what i'm saying and also another thing is we like to compete and we like to rush ourselves so for example rushing ourselves uh, i i mean that um i had a friend that i not really traded with but then we traded we both traded i'm saying we traded different systems and he was like kind of an impulsive trader he could like execute like four trades at once and i'm still like guys till to till till this day right i don't know i think yeah but then the way i do it is okay so what i do is i only enter like one trade it's rare that you get me putting in three trades or more at once well for example, I could enter, I could see a setup on USD CAD. I enter it. Then I see another setup on EURUSD. So those of you who guys know, those two pairs have a negative correlation. So when one buys, the one other one sells. You know what I'm saying? So those two trades by itself, it's like separate, right? But then I'm talking about in a sense of like, I'm seeing a setup on USD CAD and I, I, like, I keep selling on the same Pay, you know what I'm saying I've never done that. I don't think I'm ever gonna do it because I've realized risk management is the way to go, guys. But that's just for me. You know what I'm saying so. Like he was an impulsive trader, and I was like kind of the laid back kind of trader. You know what I'm saying so. Like I'm not gonna lie, that nigga when he lo when he lost, he lost a lot. But then again, when he when he when he won, he won a lot. You know what I'm saying so. Like when I was watching his wins, I was like he could make like eight hundred. Which is like uh I don't know what eight hundred rands is it is is in dollars. I'll be sure to calculate it, but I'm not sure. Yeah. So I could be looking at this profits and be like, damn, why am I so why am I not getting any profits? Why am I not seeing the results? I'm saying. So I'm like like later on in the journey I realized that okay, you are not in the same wavelength. First of all, you are trying to mitigate risk. To maximize the profit side of things and he's really just when he loses he loses a lot when he wins he wins a lot you know but then i want i wanted like consistent results i don't want to lose a lot i don't want to like stuff like that you know what i'm saying so like i kind of understood what was happening then i actually came to my senses i was like okay let me just relax okay he showed me his results i'm like okay bro okay bro cool right I focus on my own thing right that is one of the problems, guys. Guys, as traders, we have a lot of problems. And, like, we need to be aware. We need to be conscious of the problems we are going through. To be honest, guys. We need to be aware of the problems we are going through. Because this actually affects us in the long term. If you are unaware of the thing, 
the thing you're struggling with it's it's going to take a toll on you i'm not going to lie because being away being unaware of something can really like slow your journey i don't know if you know what i'm talking about for example let's say you have a patient's problem and you don't know that you have a patient's problem so what would you do like what what will you do is probably enter early i'm saying because you're you're, 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 you're you're impatient but you don't know you're impatient right so compare yourself to an impatient person an impatient person will know, okay this is not ready yet right if i buy here it will be too early and i will make a loss that person that person is then patient to actually wait for that setup right so that person is aware that um i was once impatient but now i'm, I'm patient you know what i'm saying he worked on that problem so I mean, the two things that I've mentioned is that uh, you need to be able to take in constructive criticism and you need to be aware of your problems. I'm saying so. Yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, comment down below what you want to see on this channel. And um, yeah, man, be sure to follow my socials. I have my main account, which is official trades, and I have my analysis channel called Ballot Trades Analysis. And um, be sure to trick the best profit out there, guys. The Forex Funder. I leave the 10% off discount code for when you purchase a challenge account on them so that you can get a 10% off. So, yeah, man. Hope you enjoyed this video. Peace.